आई एच डी मीन्स इंडेक्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन डेफिशियंसी दिस आई एच डी कैलकुलेशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट वेन वी फाइंड द स्ट्रक्चर फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्पेक्ट्रल डेटा इफ यू नो द मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला देन फ्रॉम दिस मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला वी कैन फाइंड आउट द इंडेक्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन डिफिशियंसी दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर एंड एज आई मैंशन अर्लियर आई एच डी कैलकुलेशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट वाइल डिसाइडिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम द गिवन स्पेक्ट्रल डेटा टू डिसाइड और द आई एच डी वी मस्ट नो द मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला फॉर द मॉलिक्यूल नाउ if all bonds are single bonds in a molecule that means isd is zero if isd after calculation is zero that means there is no double bond or ring present in the molecule for each double bond or a ring isd will be 1 for example if isd is 1 there might be one pi bond or one ring present in the molecule for isd 2 there will be two pi bonds or one triple bond or one pi bond and one ring accordingly you can find out different combination different possibilities so when isd value is greater than 1 we have, we must be very much alert and we should try different combination for pi bonds or ring you always remember one ihd equals to either for one ring or for one pi bond so from this uh from this information we can we can find out number of pi bonds present in the molecule or number of rings and pi bonds present in the molecule so this much information we gather from the index of hydrogen deficiency now i'm moving toward the next part of this topic that is how isd is calculated to calculate isd suppose the molecular formula is cx H Y. I am omitting other hetero atoms present in the molecule. So the formula is 2x plus 2 minus y upon 2. By using this formula, you can easily find out I H D. But if hetero atoms are there for oxygen and sulfur, you neglect that hetero atoms because they are not going to affect our I H D. but if halogens are there means cl br f halogens are there for each halogen you must consider as a hydrogen suppose there are two halogens you add two hydrogen in the formula before ihd calculation if there is one hydrogen you add one hydrogen in molecular formula before the calculation of ihd again if nitrogen heteroatom is present in the molecule you replace nitrogen with one ch means one carbon and one hydrogen is added in the molecular formula before ihd calculation so this is all about how to calculate ihd from the given molecular formula now we'll discuss uh, we'll take few examples to calculate ihd first example where the molecular formula is c6s6 Where x value is six, y value is six. If you put that value in this formula, you get here I H D four. From I H D, you can draw different <coughs> conclusions. So there must be four double bonds. First conclusion: four double bonds. Or another conclusion: three double bonds. Three double bonds, and one ring or you can find out two double bonds and one triple bonds or so on you have to just draw different conclusion from the ihd now i'm moving toward the next example where nitrogen is present if nitrogen is present as i mentioned you have to add ch remove that nitrogen if i add ch one carbon is added here hydrogen is added here so it is converted to c6h10 and by putting this values in in formula we get the value 2 2 means two double bond or one double bond and one ring or one triple bond these are the conclusion we can draw from this value 2 for this ihd 
now if the oxygen is there you just neglect that oxygen and its new formula will be now c4eh8 put the value of x and y in this formula so by putting this value we will get ihd1 and one ihd means either having one double bond or having one ring so these are the conclusion we can draw from the ihd and these are the uh, uh, examples from which we can learn how to calculate ihd thank you